Brainstorming with Jade Steffens is sponsored by Crumble Cookies. Well, it is now time to brainstorm. Today's question is from Grayson. Grayson is in first grade at Avenue City Elementary. And Grayson wants to know, what's the difference between sleet and grapple? Well, this is a really good question from Grayson, especially with that wintry mix that we have on the way forward tonight. These two forms of icy precipitation are very similar. They both come from snow that passes through a warm layer of air and then re-enters cold air before hitting the ground. But there is a slight difference between these two. The picture behind me is sleet. This is snow that melts completely into liquid water and then refreezes as it reaches the surface. Notice how it has a clear appearance to it. It kind of looks like tiny little ice cube pellets. This is created by near or below freezing temperatures at the surface in warm air above. The surface temperature for sleet is usually about mid 30s or colder. Now this behind me is grapple. This is snow that passes through a warm layer of air, but it doesn't melt completely. Now this is key here. The snow is only partially melted at this point, and then as it continues falling through cold air, that's when super cooled water droplets will collect on the outer surface of the snow pellets, and it usually creates these white, small, circle-shaped spears. The surface temperature is usually about 45 degrees or cooler, and we have the potential to see either one of these type of, types of precipitation today or tomorrow with the system moving in. So for every brainstorming question answered, Crumble Cookies is giving away a certificate for a four-pack of their cookies. So congratulations to Grayson for being our lucky winner today. If you want to be like Grayson and win some cookies from Crumble, send in your questions at kq2.weather at kq2.com. Include your first name, age, school, and a photo if you'd like. Get your parents' permission and send in your weather questions.